how Yusuf is the Liebig equation. So we know that from our previous video where we talked about the hydrogen spectrum, we know that the wave number is equal to the Liebig's constant. And then of course in the brackets we have one over the initial energy level minus one over the second or the final energy level squared. So Liebig's constant we know it's always going to be given to us. So it's ten nine seven three seven three one point six in meters negative. So we have wave number on the left hand side. And then in the brackets, Lyman C D is associated with the first energy level. Okay, of course you need to know Baumas release is the second, third is uh, associated with brackets uh, with pass chain, and then fourth is bracket, uh, finally the fifth is uh, P fund, all that. So you have one over one squared as your initial, and then your final is three. Since yeah, it's going to fade energy level, that's a transition of an electron from. So of course, you need to picture this in mind. This is an emission, so we're having an electron moving from the first energy level all the way up to the fade energy level. So we expect that there's a gain of energy there. So where we have our wave number, wave number is 1 over wavelength. So it is equal to, so grabbing a calculator there, 1 over 1 squared is just 1, minus 1 over 9, which is obviously going to be 8 over 9. Multiply by 10, 973, 731.6. Okay. So the answer I'm getting is... 9.754 by 10 to the power 6 meters negative. So we just have to divide. Uh, if you cross that multiply, you end up dividing 1 by the answer that we found to get our wavelength. So our wavelength is 1.025 by 10 to the power minus 7 in meters. So that is how you apply the the Leibig equation to performing calculations.